Hello everyone, back tuning in to today's first video, dear Jamie, Friday for today's first video, so uh, as always on a Friday, we're having a detailed look at the weather for the month ahead, and this is going to take us into the second half of August, we're beginning to run down the clock now towards the end of summer 2019, at least, at least me, Josh Gill. Uh, summer 2019 anyway, of course, uh, in terms of the weather, that is questionable because uh, very often we do get uh, summer like even very hot weather in um, early September in particular, we certainly can do, we have done over the years, but uh, statistically summer is the first day of June to the final day of August. It's very useful to have these defined periods when we're divvying up the uh, statistics at the end of the seasons. So, therefore, in terms of statistical uh, summer, uh, we're coming towards the end of it with the uh, month head look heads right now. So, we'll see what the JMA and CFSV2 models have got to say about the weather as we look into the uh, latter stages of August and the last stages of the summer. And again, I'm happy very short. Just say that coming up later on this afternoon, we're going to have a week to 10 day video update. Uh, so we'll be going over yesterday's developments uh, again. Of course, we had uh, the hottest July day on record yesterday. It was uh, exceptionally hot across um, eastern and southern parts of the country. Feeling a lot more comfortable now. You'll notice that I'm not struggling as much with the videos today. So things are cooling down in uh, Gasworthy's Towers and they're cooling down generally across the country. So uh, hope you're enjoying the fresher feel if it was a bit overbearing uh, yesterday. Right, so let's get on with Jamie Friday then. And we're going to start off by having a look at 500 millibar height only flow chart from the JMA for week one. These are broken down into weekly periods. So the first week period, week one, takes us from today, the 26th of July, through to the 2nd of August. Red, orange and yellow extrapolate to above average heights, which is high pressure. Blues extrapolate to below average heights, which is low pressure. So in uh, the coming week, we've got this area of above average heights sitting to our north and northeast, below average heights to our west and uh, southwest. So there's a bit of a battle going on here. The high pressure to be east is trying to maintain these hot southerly southeast winds that we've had recently. But, of course, the low pressure coming in off the Atlantic is trying to break that down, trying to introduce a cooler, fresher Atlantic flow and turn things more unsettled. And I think it will be the Atlantic that wins. This is already in the process of doing so right now. Temperatures are already uh, coming down from yesterday's extreme heat. And this will be the trend over the next few days, I think, gradually cooling down and becoming... Um, a little bit more unsettled, particularly uh, over the weekend and into the early part of next week. That gets us through to week two. This one takes us from the 2nd through to the 9th of August. And it looks pretty unsettled here. We've got below average heights over and to the west of the UK. Above average heights are up towards Greenland. Uh, flows coming in off the Atlantic rather like that. The only thing I would say... Uh, about this is that the position of the low pressure out to west west could allow some warm air to come up from the south at times but uh, if it did it would be very volatile it will very quickly break towards thunderstorms and overall that just looks a rather unsettled uh, rather unsettled sort of early august i have to say that does look pretty unsettled indeed and then we go through to weeks three and four, and it gets a bit worse, actually. This is taking us from the 9th to 23rd of August, and we stick up this trough of below average heights right over top of the UK. So that would be very unsettled uh, indeed, actually. Is summer 2019 about to go down the tubes? <laughs> well, it won't be the first time it's happened in uh, August, uh, of course, but uh, we'll see what CFS has to say in a moment. Anyway. But certainly the JMA is looking very unsettled here uh, with uh, that's a bit too far south. So let's do that again. The JMA is looking very unsettled here with the jet stream tending to be pushed a little bit to the south of us. Trough of low pressure over the UK. That would be an unsettled uh, uh, an unsettled August. Remember, this is taking us from the 9th to 23rd. So it's a two weekly anomaly. Normally, the two week anomalies are a little bit uh, weaker. Uh, the signals aren't as strong. 
Um, due to the fact you can get transitions going on within the two weeks, of course. So normally it's a weak signal, but this is a strong signal that we've got here for uh, for uh, for August to be quite unsettled. Let's have a look at the tropical and mid latitude view. So on this view, the UK is in the top right hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it. We're just there. Uh, so again, Brunette extrapolates to low pressure, yellow, orange, and red to high pressure. Reminder of a week one, 500 millibar height anomaly. By the way, you can't see the North Pole uh, on this view. That's off the chart up there. Uh, but we know we have got in week one, we have got a big area of above average height sitting both to our north, up towards Greenland, and also to our northeast over Scandinavia. And just seeing it edging into the northeast of Scotland there. So, week one, 500 bit of our height, and we have the high pressure to the northeast and to the north, the low pressure to the west and to the southwest. And uh, we bring in these warm, very warm east to southeast winds initially, and then eventually the Atlantic sort of takes over. Temperature anomalies in the weekend forecast to be substantially above average by one to two degrees. And I think a lot of that is right now. Um, it does probably take into account yesterday's extreme heat as well. I think this actually updates on a Thursday. So we is probably running this um, from yesterday through to next Thursday, if you see what I mean. So uh, that's probably taking into account a lot uh, yesterday's extreme heat, but it's going to be generally a little bit above average anyway over the next uh, few days. So cool down is quite a gradual uh, sort of process. So uh, a relatively um, warm temperature anomaly, but looking a bit unsettled. Precipitation anomalies are coming out uh, a little bit on the wetter than average side. Week two looks like that. It's the 2nd to the 9th of August. And again, we have the below average height sitting to our west. That feeds in uh, westerly winds. Those winds could go a little bit southerly at times. So it might still be quite warm in this week as well. But if, it, if the wind did go into the south, it would very, very quickly break down into storms, I would have thought, with that low pressure sitting just to our west. Temperature anomalies are still holding up okay, actually, between around 1 and 2 degrees above average. So it's another... Uh, warmer than average week, but it is also looking unsettled too. You'd expect that, of course, with low pressure sat just to the west of us. So, um, precipitation anomalies coming out above average for week two, rather wet from the 2nd to the 9th of August. And then we've got the weeks three and four, uh, 500 millibar height, only where the low pressure is stuck over the top of the UK. Jet stream looks like it will be pushed a bit southwards uh, as well. Temperature anomalies are coming down closer to average. This looks a bit um this looks a bit overdone the temperature anomaly though actually based on that 500 millibar height anomaly with the low pressure sat over top of the UK. I would expect a cooler than an average couple of weeks overall there if that trough did sit over top of the UK. There's nothing there in that um in that sort of weeks three four anomaly 500 millibar height anomaly to suggest any particular warm source of there. So I would have thought a cooler than average week would be uh, very likely there. And again, it's another wetter than average couple of weeks too, uh, going from the 9th to the 23rd of August, above average rainfall. So this is looking, uh, it is looking a bit dodgy, I have to say, for August based on the JMA. The JMA is definitely hinting at a much more unsettled, and I would have thought eventually quite a lot cooler uh, month. Let's have a look at the CFS and see whether that uh, is in agreement. So, um, come back to 500 millibar heights. This is the week one. 500 millibar height on me from the CFS V2. This takes us from the 26th of July to the 1st of August. And we have above average heights again sitting to our north and to our northeast. Below average heights to west southwest. So, doing something a bit like that with the flow and with the jet stream. Should be relatively warm. The air is coming in from a sort of southerly, southwesterly direction, really. Uh, but rather unsettled. Then we go through to uh, week two. And look at this. It's the 2nd to the 8th of August. Blocking area of high pressure over Greenland. That's never... Usually a very good sign for summer. Below average heights in the Atlantic extending into the UK and then going into many northern parts of Europe as well. Jet stream is pushed southwards. Um, I mean, just a very unsettled that. That will be a very unsettled first week to August. You expect uh, quite a lot of rain 
to be coming in with that. Uh, spells of rain. And I would have thought temperatures are likely to be quite disappointing as well, really, uh, overall. Week three is the 9th to the 15th of August. Uh, similar to what the JMA is showing, trough of below average heights by then, centred over the top of the UK. There's a ridge developing down across southern, southeastern parts of Europe. That would bring warmer, even hot air into the east of the southeast of Europe. But for us in the northwest of Europe, actually, we could be starting to entrain some quite cool air into that trough of low pressure. And the jet stream would probably be a little bit to our south as well. So that looks cool and unsettled. And then we go through to week four. It's the 16th to the 22nd of August. Uh, and still looks rather unsettled. Really, but average heights to the north, northeast of us, Possibly hints that heights might be rising to the southwest, so maybe starting to settle down a little bit for you this week. But overall, still, I would have thought quite changeable and still probably quite cool as well. The wind is coming in from the northwest, so this definitely looks like summer 2019 going down the pan a bit with the JMA Friday this week. But remember, it is only a snapshot of what these models are showing, uh, and they could well be wrong. It could all look very different uh, next week. Temperature anomalies uh, looking like this. Uh, week 1 temperature on the 7th, 3 to 26th of July to 1st of August. Overall, it's a bit warmer than average for the north. Near, nor near normal uh, temperature anomalies down in the south in the week ahead. Uh, week 2 temperature anomaly from the 2nd to the 8th of August. Again, very close to average. Bit warmer than average across the north of the country. Interesting. I'm not sure where that's coming from, really. Um, I would suspect, uh, I would suspect uh, we would have uh, near normal or even perhaps slightly below average temperature anomalies in reality. Uh, week 3 is uh, going to be the 9th to the 15th of August. And again, close to average with temperature only a bit warmer than average up to the north. I suspect that might be getting skewed a little bit by the substantially warmer than average sea surface temperature anomalies that we've got sitting uh, in the far north of the Atlantic, now, between Greenland and Scotland and Iceland. We have significantly warmer than average sea surface temperature anomalies there. The surface is probably looking at that warmer than average sea surface temperature anomaly and assuming that will affect parts of northern Britain affect parts of Scotland. But in reality, I don't think it would. In such an unsettled pattern as what the CFS is showing, I think all parts of the country would be coming out either uh, average or probably uh, probably a little bit cooler than average in reality. And week four is very similar. This is the 16th to 22nd of August. Again, it looks warmer than average across the far north of the Atlantic and into Scotland, you'll notice, down to those sea surface temperature anomalies, I think, but again, in reality, probably a little bit on the cooler than an average side. Precipitation anomalies uh, look like that from the 26th of July to 1st of August. Wetter than average in the north, near normal for England and Wales. Pretty much all places go wetter than average in week two. This is not what you want to be seeing really in the first week of August. It's second to the 8th of August. And the precipitation anomaly is above average. Week 3 precipitation anomalies from the 9th to 15th of August are also wetter than average. And week 4, which is the 16th to the 22nd of August, goes to average precipitation. So possibly a little bit drier, but still hints of being a bit wetter than average. And remember, anyway, by week 3 and 4, the signal is always weakening. These are not very good trends for August, I have to say, if you want a continuation of uh, the warm, dry weather that we've tended to have quite a bit of during July, particularly over the past few days. If you was hoping for a hot August, and that is what the Gas Rapid Summer forecast suggested was most likely, the most likely month to be hottest uh, in the summer forecast was August. If you want that, uh, these charts are not very good. So uh, it looks like Joe Friday this week is taking summer down the tubes 
for August. But, as I said a few minutes ago, it's only a snapshot. Uh, the models, these Rolls models, might be overreacting to the breakdown of the heat wave. I wonder whether that's going on. That could be happening in the short range as well. There could be an overreaction to the breakdown of heat wave. Because we are going to go quite unsettled in the next few days, definitely. Up to the end of July, there's going to be quite a bit of rain around. Uh, at times. So it could be that the breakdown of the heat wave and the high pressure that deliver the heat wave, um, the models have overreacted to it and are trying to continue that breakdown throughout uh, August. In reality, it might be that we get back towards high pressure and dry conditions quite quickly. That could be what's going on, but alternatively, might be these models are right. And the summer is going to go down the pan in August. It won't be the first time, by any means, that that has happened. It has been a common theme, really, since we had that very, very hot August in 2003. We've been talking about so much about uh, lately in terms of that temperature record that was set in August 2003. Since then, we haven't really had a very hot August. We have had a couple of uh, reasonable Augusts. I think August 2016 was quite a warm uh, dry month. There have been a, a couple of other ones as well since 2003. But overall, for a very hot August, like an 18 Celsius CT August, you have to go back to 2003 for that. So August has tended to be a month that um, has been quite uh, quite unsettled over the past um, 16 years or so. And, uh, well, if Jeremy Friday is right, that's how August 2019 is going to go as well. But Keep in mind always that this is just a snapshot. Uh, it's only um, a snapshot of what these models are predicting for today. Uh, they could look very different next week. Any forecast over five to seven days comes with a big health warning. We'll be back later on this afternoon looking at the shorter range. So come back for that then. Uh, but that's all for now. And thanks for watching.